Hey foodies, thanks for watching. Today we're gonna make a lekha, which is typically served the day before Yom Kippur. And I'm just gonna jump right into it because as you can see, there are lots of ingredients. Most of them are spices and baking powder and baking soda, so it's not so intimidating, but this is gonna be a fun recipe to make. And you wanna start by putting your flour in. And today I'm using Frankie's gluten-free all-purpose flour blend. I like this flour because I can substitute pretty much any recipe that gets tossed at me to, to make something with and it comes out exactly how I want it to. And that's Frankie's and I just, I, I love it. Um, I'm gonna add my salt and my baking soda and my baking powder. And I'm gonna mix this up just like that, and I'm gonna make a little bit of a well right in the middle, maybe with my spatula. And I'm gonna add all my spices. And I'm gonna stir these up with half of my white sugar. There we go. Look at that, that's looking beautiful. We make another well in the middle and we're gonna add everything else. And that's our eggs, the rest of our white sugar, our brown sugar, our vanilla, our vegetable oil. I'm using a light salad oil. So like canola or just a vegetable oil. We've got some honey, which is the primary ingredient for a honey cake. I've got some citrus juice, so lemonade. Um, you can use orange juice if you want. If you want to do half of it as orange juice and half of it as like a liquor, like wh uh, whiskey, that's fine too. And then I've got some coffee here, and I'm just gonna mix the coffee up in there. I'm gonna give it a light stir, and then I'm gonna get into whisking it. Because as you can see, my bowl is very full. Okay. Oh, it smells lovely already. And you want a nice stiff whisk if it's really flimsy, it's just gonna be a mess. Feel free to use beaters or toss this in your mixer. But you wanna make sure you get rid of all those lumps. There we go. And that looks great. So I've got a really well greased or oiled pan. I'm using a bunt pan and I'm gonna pour most if not all of this into my bunt pan. And I think it's all gonna fit. If you wanna do this in smaller loaf pans, that's fine. You can hand out a few extras. That looks Beautiful. This is going to go into a preheated oven of 350 degrees Fahrenheit for approximately an hour, but I'm going to check it to make sure a skewer goes in and comes out clean. See you in a moment. This looks amazing. It's been in my oven for about an hour. I pulled it out when the skewer came out clean and after about 10 minutes, I flipped it up, set it, inverted it, and put it on a rack to cool. It's been on the rack for, I'm gonna say two hours now. It's just warm. Yeah, it's, it's, it's cool. I have a confession to make. So I put all the batter into my bunt pan. I shouldn't have put all the batter into my bunt pan because about five minutes after it was in the oven, it was just overflowing and place filled with smoke. It was, oh my goodness, we should have gotten pictures. It was quite something. So by all means, fill it up maybe two thirds full and then take the rest and make like cupcakes or make a, a little mini loaf pan or, or something. Don't fill it up like I did. But this looks amazing. 
and I can't wait to share it. And I'm gonna garnish it with just a bit of icing sugar or powdered sugar on top. And I think that makes it just so pretty and elegant. I mean, you can see it's, it's a little bit firm on the outside. I'm looking forward to slicing into it. So let's, let's see. I don't want to take a huge slice. And I'll grab my plate and let's take a look. Oh yeah, oh look at that, it's gorgeous. Oh, you can, you can definitely smell all of the spices and all of the, the different ingredients. Like I can smell the honey and the coffee doesn't stand out very much. But I, I have a feeling the lemonade that I put in it is just going to make it pop and it's going to make it just give it that nice top citrus note. So I'm just going to give it a try and see what it's like. Mmm. It's so moist. Oh my goodness. I, I love it. Love, love, love it. Mmm. One more bite, just for good luck. Mmm. 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 -hmm. You've got to try this cake. It's wonderful. Maybe share it with some friends, family. I mean, it's certainly big enough that you could do that. Thanks for watching.